So now uh, we will discuss about the triphenyl uh, methane. What is this uh, triphenyl uh, methane? Uh, we know the structure of uh, methane CH4. If you are removing three hydrogen atoms from that uh, methane and you are adding three phenyl groups, that one is known as triphenyl methane. This uh, triphenyl methane is having the molecular formula of C6 H5 trice CH. So the, what is this uh, triphenyl methane? It is a colorless solid which is soluble in uh, only in non-polar organic solvents but it is not soluble in water. So the basic uh, skeleton of this uh, triphenyl methane is used in many synthetic dyes. Uh, they are called as uh, triphenyl methane dyes and uh, maximum these uh, dyes are used as uh, pH indicators and uh, some uh, of these uh, dyes are uh, displaying fluorescence. Normally this uh, triphenyl methyl uh, group is called as tritile group. So this uh, tritile group for example triphenyl methyl chloride it is called as tritile chloride and the triphenyl methyl radical is called as tritile radical. Next one is uh, synthesis of triphenyl methane. Uh, we have already discussed about the diphenyl methane synthesis. So now I will uh, discuss about the synthesis of triphenyl methane. So how can we synthesis this uh, diphenyl methane? We have to use benzene molecule. So here three molecules of benzene uh, will react with the chloroform. So this benzene acts with the chloroform in presence of aluminium chloride will give triphenyl methane with the elimination of hydrochloric acid. So this uh, benzene reacts with the chloroform in presence of AlCl3 that is aluminium chloride will give triphenyl methane with the elimination of hydrochloric acid. Next uh, reaction will be oxidation reaction of uh, triphenyl uh, methane. This uh, triphenyl methane undergo auto oxidation so why it is undergoing auto oxidation so the radical of triphenyl methane generated during the auto oxidation reaction is very stable so uh, it undergoes the uh, or it, it is susceptible to auto oxidation so on uh, oxidation it will uh, give uh, Tritile methane hydroperoxide. So this, uh, as I already mentioned that one, this triphenyl compounds are known as tritile. So this uh, triphenyl methane on oxidation, it gives trit, uh, tritile methane hydroperoxide. So the auto oxidation of triphenyl methane will give uh, this triphenyl methane hydroperoxide. Uh, next uh, reaction will be nitration. So nitration of uh, triphenyl uh, methane will give tris 4 nitrophenyl methane. So tris uh, 4 nitrophenyl methane will be formed on nitration of triphenyl methane. This uh, nitration will be carried down in presence of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. So triphenyl methane and nitration with uh, nitric acid in presence of sulfuric acid will give trinitro derivative that is tris 4 nitrophenyl methane here this nitric acid will react with the hydrogen that is present in the benzene uh, water molecule will be eliminated then no2 group will be added to the benzene so this will give tris 4 nitrophenyl methane this uh, tris 4 nitrophenyl methane in presence of any base it will be converted into methanide ion that is tris 4 nitrophenyl methanide will be formed next one is uh, derivatives of this uh, triphenyl methane uh, in this uh, slide we will see the uh, two derivatives that is uh, gentian violet and um, imipramine blue this uh, gentian violet which is used as an antiseptic dye used to treat fungal infections of the skin and it is also having the antibacterial activity. So the next one is uh, imipramine blue. 
this imipramine uh, blue um, which is also a derivative of this uh, triphenyl uh, methane which is used for the uh, treatment of uh, some depression uh, disorders it is also used for the treatment of anxiety disorders and uh, also used for the um, depression disorders i hope you could uh, understand uh, about the synthesis uh, reactions and uh, derivatives of this uh, triphenyl methane thank you one and all